So just another quick video based on a question I got about how you can quickly edit your BPM if they have been wrongly detected. And the thing about wrongly detected BPMs is that they're usually detected at half the speed or double the speed. So this is what I do when I just analyzed a, a bunch of new tracks to make sure my BPM is how I want it. This can actually be a little bit of a discussion because on some tracks, that might not be an absolute true to uh, truth to even if it's half a double the speed, even if it's a one speed track, so it's not a multiple BPM, um, simply because that's how your, your, your ear uh, hears it. But that doesn't really matter here. We can do it how we want it. Also remember, of course, that Virtual DJ can beat match at half the speed and double the speed also. So you don't need to change it. Uh, just make them how it sounds to your ear, basically. So this is about how to do that. So of course you can do it like you always usually do it, is you load it, the, the file on the track. Of course, uh, I order this by BPM. So then I see, well, I want to check the bottom ones and I want to check the top ones because that's where the problems usually are. So I take the slowest one here, 52 BPM, and I load it on my deck and I play. And that should probably be double speed. So what you can do then is you can right click it, go to the BPM editor, and you can have a, a double it. In this case, it would be double it. So that's one way. The other one is clicking edit up here. If that's not visible, then you can click the BPM uh, number here to get this, and then you get the same editor. But that's not fast, that's a few clicks. So this video is about how doing it fast. So um, to do it fast, I usually map a keyboard key or two, or something with an alt or shift, for speed to do it just based on one click. And the script for that is pretty simple. So set BPM 50%, that sets it to half the speed, and set BPM 200%, that sets it to double the speed. So right now I need to double the speed, so I simply click this button, and it's set. Uh, so that's a fast way of doing it, but like I said, you would usually do that on a, on a keyboard key so it's even faster, and you don't run out of this of course. So I go through the first few ones here to make sure they're correct and then I go to the last one here maybe to check if that's correct. Let me just set this back for the next test so I'll set this to 50% again uh, and this is of course the same. You load it, you can clear clearly here, here that should probably be half the speed. Let me just put that back again for the next test. So that's one way of doing it, or a second way of doing it, but that actually involves loading the track. The track. Another way you can do it is you can use this, this little preview over here that you have uh, on this pane, on the info pane in Virtual DJ. So you can set it to play. Let me just unload this. So don't pay attention to that. And then just play. And it plays the current track. So if I change the track, it changes the track. So if I take the bottom one here again, it's in a bad place. I'll take this up again. So this clearly needs to be halved. So I could again go into the editor, but I can also have another script for doing it directly on the browsed file, so even faster. So if I right click here, we use set browsed file BPM 50%, and of course the other one will be 200%. And again, I would do this on a keyboard key. So that means when I figure out this one is a double speed, I simply click this one, and then it's a half speed, try the next one. That's also a double speed, I click half speed, next one. And that's correct, no problem there. Then I go to the bottom ones. That should be double speed. So I have to do BPM 200% in the graph file. Next one. That's probably correct. So now all of these are correct. And when I click double, or when I click this twice, I can reorder. So now all my BPMs are how I want. So that was just a couple of quick examples on how you can use script to really quickly change the BPMs and a couple of ways to to get to, to listen to the, the tracks really fast so you can figure out that you want to change them and then change them.
really fast with a hiring to load them and then go into the BPM editor. 